If a man texts but he doesn't call, what does it mean? Is it a red flag? Is he a terrible communicator? Is something wrong? In today's video, you're going to learn what it means when a man doesn't call but only texts. First, let's talk about why men text but don't call. Well, the only person who can answer that is the man that you're texting. So if you pre prefer to talk instead of texting, let him know. I believe that texting is a terrible way to communicate and build connection, especially at the beginning when you're first getting to know each other. So if you don't tell him how you feel about texting, he's not going to know. Tell him you'd love to talk and I'll give you a script you can use in just a minute. Well, maybe you're thinking, well, if he liked me, he would ask for my number or he would call me, but not necessarily. Texting is now the most common and easiest way to communicate these days. And unless you let a man know your preference, he probably will not call, even if he likes you. So we're gonna break this down a bit to understand some common texting patterns. How do men text when they like you? If he likes you, he is probably going to text you pretty often, maybe every day, maybe a few times a day. He might even share photos of the food he's cooking or the places he's visiting, his pets, his kids. He probably feels that that's a connection. He's connecting with you. And you might think sometimes those texts are sweet, but sometimes they're annoying. But think about it. If he didn't like you, he would stop texting altogether, right? And while he might be texting other women the same pictures and texts, he's communicating with you because he likes you. Another reason that he could be texting is he might be really shy. It could be the only way he feels comfortable communicating with somebody he likes. In either case, if you like him, give him the green light and let him know that you want to talk. Then see what he says and does. Now let's talk about texting at different stages of dating. If you have just connected online and haven't yet spoken or met, I recommend getting off text as soon as you feel a connection. We don't want pen pals. We don't want to get attached to somebody we don't know or the opposite. We, want, we don't want to get turned off because texting has no tone or emotion. So I'm going to give you a sample script to get a guy you met online to call. I'm enjoying getting to know you. Would you like to exchange numbers and talk old school to see if we connect? If you've been dating for a while and you prefer talking over text, let him know what you want. A phone call every night before bed? Ask for it. Here's a simple script for that. I love hearing your voice and it would make me happy to have a good night call every night before bed. Can you do that? Texting can be flirty and fun if you use it strategically, especially once you've been on a bunch of dates or you're in a relationship. But until then, I recommend keeping text to logistics and facts and not feelings, like where you're meeting, whether you're running late. Matthew Hussey, dating coach, shares a great story about getting from text to calling. He had been dating somebody and they'd fallen into a pattern of texting and not calling for many weeks. And then one day he saw a missed call from the woman he was dating and he immediately called her back. It's so good to hear your voice, he said. Yeah, she said, we've become pen pals. But he didn't like that. When she called him a pen pal, he thought, that's not sexy. I wanna be seen as the sexy guy. He liked that she showed confidence by calling him. Even if you leave a voicemail, it can inspire a man to call you. She also got him to see texting from a negative perspective. And at the end of the call, she said, why is it that every time I hear your voice, it leaves me flustered? This comment left him feeling desired and he now associated positivity with calling instead of texting. So if a guy chooses to text you every day instead of calling you, it doesn't necessarily mean there's something wrong or he doesn't like you it actually might mean that things are going really well. If your relationship gets stronger and you tell him that talking on the phone is important to you, he'll probably do his best to call you. And if he doesn't, ask yourself, do I want to be with a man who doesn't respect how I need to communicate? And remember, if we don't ask, we don't get. And if we don't receive after we ask, we get to choose whether to stay or go. 
If you like these simple tips and want more support on how to speak up and get your needs met, I invite you to join my new course, Communication Skills for Better Relationships. You'll always know what to say, how to say it, and when to not say anything at all. The Early Bird $100 off special ends on the 25th of January, and the bonus sessions, the $300 bonus sessions, private sessions with me, will end very soon, as soon as we have enough people in the course to take them. So the course will never be this low in price. There is so much information on the website. I hope that you join me, and I will see you all soon.